Hey guys, we'll turn back with another Rust gameplay video. This one is just um, jumped on the server. This is the night before the wipe. I've um, skipped through all the leveling up little bits of stages. Um, and I was, it was before the wipe, so I wasn't going to build a base or anything like that. It was just the fact that I wanted to jump on there, play some Rust, and how it used to be and how it is. You run around, run amok, kill some people, kill some animals, have some fun. The whole leveling up thing, that was pretty cool. This was a three time server. Um, nothing else but that, that's all it was. There's nothing, no other mods to it. I find it a bit more um, playable. You, you don't grind it out so much. Um, and it was late at night. Um, so I just uh, thought, fuck it, let's go play Rust the old way rather than just go and play Battlefield or, or CSGO or anything like that or building bases because it was the night before the wipe. There wasn't any fucking point in building a base because it'll be gone the next day. So. I went for a run around, chilled out, killed some people, killed some stuff. Um, as you can see, I've sped it up a lot just to um, make it more viewer friendly and you're not bored shitless of watching this dude run very, very slowly that we all watch and rust in the way that does our heads in because he runs too fucking slow. But look, as you can see here, I'm at one of the, the red towns or whatever you want to call it. Nothing's cleaned out. No, um, on the way to the other ones. Got a bear, lovely bear. Levels you up nice and fast. They even sped that up. So you don't even have to deal with it. The upcoming videos that I've got so far. I actually got my kids to make one the other day. That was pretty funny. They jumped onto a creative server, um, and they're like, "Dad, dad, dad, I want a, I want a video." So um, I've chucked them on. Not only that, I've got another one. My young fella, one of them, actually came with me on a mission that seemed like this and he, he did pretty well for an um, 11 year old, 10 year old. So um, yeah, usual stuff in Rust. Look, as I said in the first video that I put up, I'm not a professional at what I do on this. This is just, you know, this is a kind of a hobby thing or a side bet thing to what I do. I already play the game, I might as well hit a button and press record. Don't have the best microphones in the world, don't have the best computer in the world, don't have the best software in the world. But, I create something for it, and if you watch it, and if you learn something from it in the, in the series that what I'm going to be doing that I've asked, like, well, people have asked me to do, there's going to be a little bit more taught things as well. Um, I teach my son how to play Rust, well, both of my sons. Um, you know, one's nearly 11, one's 12. They both play Rust. Um, so I teach them a lot of stuff, and I'm going to get them guys to post uh, videos on YouTube of them teaching other people the first steps in rust so building bases and, and stuff like that i think that's going to be a little bit fun for them guys there's other footage that i'm making I've, well, I've i've made at the moment i've got some csgo footage i've got some miscreated footage daisy i'm still on the fence about there's a lot of videos out there that's a pretty cool game to me there's a there's another one was a um, no man's sky there's Shattered Skies, there's, there's a few other ones that I'm thinking about doing and what I do in, in gameplay and, and how I play it. I do record these videos for the hell of it. I am playing them, so I might as well record it and put it all together. It only takes, you know, as you can see, it's not professionally edited, it's not professional audio. It only takes me, you know, 15, 20 minutes to, to, to kind of chuck these videos together and chuck them on YouTube. So as long as you benefit out of it and there's some, some entertainment bit to it, then... Um, Wicked man, subscriber. I need a hundred subscribers or, the, or YouTube won't give me my own little name at the end of uh, YouTube.com. They give me some mumbled up bullshit. Uh, at this point here, I got to the dome. This is where my mission was. Where when I actually first started, I could see all three rad towns all lined up in a row, and I thought, wicked look, that's a, that's a that's an aim for me. That's what I'm going to go get. Um, I ran into a couple of guys outside. One actually fell on the floor. One got killed by me. And the other one ran away and shot back at me and, and he kind of, that's who I was looking for there. He, um, he basically, I lost where he was. So at this point here, I'm like, oh yeah, cool, no worries, cruising around, I've got a bit of stuff on me, nothing too major, nothing that you, nothing you would stress too much about losing. But here's the kicker, if you walk, walk up here, this, this, this is what got me. First gun, I was like, yep, sweet, so that's one gun, three crossbows, not a bad effort, not a bad effort. So obviously the guy that was downstairs with a with a, a bow comes back with a you know a pistol or whatnot. He wants to have a crack. 
So fair enough, the chopper's out as well, as you'll um you'll find out in a minute. That came over and gave me a good one. But uh look, there's gun number two. This is this is not this is straight up man. Um Thompson number two from the top of the tower. And there's gun number three <laughs> on the top of the tower. I was like at this point I was like fuck. You're kidding me, right? So yeah, fair enough. You know, I could hear footsteps running around, and if I shut up, you'd probably hear it too. Um, and at this point, I was like, yeah, cool eyes. As long as I can see where they're coming in, you know, I've got higher ground at the moment. Uh, this is this is where you'd want to be. You know, always on the higher ground. You don't want to be on the lower. You'll find out in a minute why I say that. Um, you know. You can hear them running and there was two of them, so I was like, okay, so these guys are going to try and split up or, or whatnot. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens in a minute. Speed it up a bit here. At this point I'm waiting for the second one to come back, I was like, yeah cool, there's only two of them, so. And the shot that I did then, right, wait for a shot until you're certain to get it. Like if you're, if you're, it is, is what I'm doing here now, it's basically you camping, you're waiting or listening, you know. Wait for that certain shot, don't, don't try and rush and give away your position. And at this point here I'm thinking, oh, look, this guy's got a gun, the hell he's after him. But, as I fucking find out, no, it was going for me. I was like, fuck, I thought it was a whole line of sight thing. If they don't see you, then obviously, you know, they won't go for you. Like, that hell is going for me. So I did have to actually kind of hide and, and, and jump away and, and try and take all the clothes off, get rid of the guns, and, and as you can see, it hit me there. And so I was, trying, I was trying to get away from it so it would fuck off. But, but in doing that, where it created my position is now, is I'm on the lower ground now. I, I'm, I, I don't have that upper ground. So if these guys walk in here, yeah, I'm as uh, good as dead. Um, but, you know, you've only got one entry point. So, okay, fair enough. It's gonna come down to a quick fire fight. for that heli to fuck off right now. That's all I was doing, I was waiting for them to walk straight through there and just come and, you know, crossbow, bow and arrow, even a bow and arrow, you know. You can hear him now, he's got a crossbow. It's not one of my best fights I've been in, I'll tell you. The intro, the little intro. The three kills was a good one, that was a battle, battle royale one, that one. This was um, streaming on Twitch as well. Was it? Yeah. Or YouTube Live, I can't remember which one it was. As you can see, they're both back now. He's waited for his mate. And as I said, um, um, they've got higher ground on me. Two of them. So one's gonna be a decoy. They've actually fucking shoot. By this time, my heart rate's pounding. I'm like, oh no, nah, this is it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> So I'm making irrational decisions and shooting too fast and not aiming and not playing it smart at all. I should have jumped out of there at that point. Yeah, I should have managed that there. That 
was a massive fucking fail for me. Good one, man. <laughs> Good game. Alright, guys, I will leave it at that. Uh, short video. Please like and subscribe. I'm heading for 100. And this is Wartime, and I'll see you in game.